Is Tarapa Ghost the Tarapa Goat? How much damage is Terra Starstorm doing when sitting next to a Chiyu? And will I click rock polish a single time in this entire video? Only one way to find out, folks. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's hop into some battles here, shall we? Going up against a Shadow Cali Rider, uh, whatever that Pokemon's name is, in whatever order, team. Uh, with sand support, kind of interesting. I haven't seen sand in Reg G yet, I don't think. It's kind of a requirement that uh, you have some way to deal with weather. Uh, my team's requirement on how to deal with weather is that when you Terra, your Terrapa ghosts, all weather and terrain disappears from the field. Uh, and they also have the Ndidi. So I might want to stop that and have a really good way to do it. Just going to lead with uh, with the Terrapa goat here. Uh, it kind of feels like my dark type Chiyu is good for so many reasons right next to my Tropagos. Uh, I really like my Sinistra in this game as well. I'm debating on whether or not I'll need to go for the Trick Room. Mm. I don't know. There's a lot of things actually that could be nice. Mm, you know what? I'm just gonna bring the focus to uh, Deli, Deli Bot. I think uh, my my hold up there was that I, the main reason to bring Frugograph is to stop priority. My opponent really doesn't have a ton of priority. I don't think they're actually a Trick Room team. If anything, I think they might even just be Trick Room in prison like I am. Um, and my team is not a hard Trick Room team. You can set Trick Room to support Ghost in certain situations, but it's not a hard Trick Room team. And what I was also debating there was like, I'm immune to Astral Barrage if I bring my um, if I'd brought my uh, uh, what am I trying to say? If I'd brought my Ferrigarath, I'd be immune to Astral Barrage, but these two Pokemon are also really good in Bra Astral Barrage. So, I'm actually just going to Calm Mind right now, which I am want to do. And I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp into the Okie Dogie slot. They're going to swap out the T-Tar. Be aware that when you Terra your uh, Terrapagos, it gets rid of weather, but then weather can be set back up again. It's not like it's max airstream. Whatever whatever the Rayquaza's ability was. We're going to miss the Will-O-Wisp. Kind of a massive deal, if I'm honest. Or, you know what? This Drain Punch or whatever is going to come out. Oh, it's a knockoff. That's fine. I was holding wide wide glasses or wide lens, and they didn't help me there anyway, so. What's interesting now is that I have... I still do have my... Multi-scale up. It's not called multi-scale. Terra Shell, which is basically multi-scale. All damage dealing moves that hit the Pokemon when at full HP will be not very effective, which is specifically better than multi-scale in this situation where I'm staring down the barrel of it. Uh, Drain Punch. I think I'm going to Rock Polish. I don't think their team is built around setting Trick Room, so I don't think they're going to go for it. I'm going to Rock Polish. Uh, and I'm going to try and hit... Uh, you know what? I might just Heat Wave. Because I think a Follow Me is probably incoming. Yeah. We'll just get the damage off. Now that I've gotten rid of these uh, wide lens, uh, I can I can hit my moves. It's great. They go for the knockoff. It does very little. However, uh, I now no longer have my leftovers. I think that's all right. I think that's okay. Because Chiyu's still alive, dude. 
Like, the fact that they're just letting me sit here with Chiyu and... It's kind of crazy. We're going to Terra. We're going to Terra Starstorm. And I think I'm just going to Heat Wave as well. I mean... Yeah. I think the Terra Starstorm just wipes, wipes the... Uh, the map here, but... Get that little turtle. Gotta get that little turtle. No more sand. No more psychic terrain. Not that I was nervous about either of those things coming into play on this turn. There's the Terra Star Storm. Jesus, that animation. Glad I attacked with Heat Wave as well. Let's let's make sure we hit it here, Chi Yu. Not sick. Can't say I'm off, uh, uh, crazy happy to have missed that heat wave. Chiyu, you, you got to hit your moves, Chiyu. There's you. Okay. I think I just Terra Starstorm again. And now I'm going to... Now I'm going to Snarl. I'm debating on what, like, what does the Cali Rider have to hit my Terrapagos? It's not Astro Barrage. Can't hit it. That's usually what it's banking on to deal most of its damage. Could be a Terra Blast situation. A lot of Cali Rider, uh, Shadow Riders are running Fairy Terra. They get to go first, but it's just a draining kiss. And they're going for Chi Yu. Can't say that's what I would have done there, pal. In the end, the fairy Terra was just to um get a boost on on draining kiss. We land the snarl there, fantastic stuff. And uh, the other thing, too, is that Terra Starstorm right now is Terra type. Uh, uh, it's not like um, when you Terra, Stellar Terra, a Pokemon, and then go for, um, uh, uh, let's say, Expanding Force, right? And then you hit a Dark type. It doesn't hit that Dark type. It's still a Psychic type move under the effects of Stellar Terra, which would make it do super effective damage if it was hitting a Pokemon that wasn't immune to it. Stel <laughs> Terra Starstorm is a, uh, a Stellar type move, which is all to say uh, that it uh, does hit ghost types. It's not like it's a normal type move. I'm pretty certain about that. If I'm wrong, do do feel free to correct me in the comments, as if you're not already doing it. And even once we finally land that Will-O-Wisp, I don't even go down to a low kick. Not bad. And I got to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure, like, the, uh, the rock polish is coming into play purely because I was able to, like, outspeed the Okie Dogie and outspeed the T-Tar, which I'm, I'm not sure Terrapagos would have done otherwise. Depends on their set, right? Both of those Pokemon uh, could run more bulk than speed investment. But, like, for example, Terrapagos has... A really weirdly middling uh, speed stat. It's got base 85 speed in, in its form. Uh, in its terraform. And it's... It's got three... It, when it comes on the... It's got 85 base speed. And uh, Okie Dogie has base 80 speed. If they're running any amount of speed on Okie Dogie, they would have outsped Terrapagos. Can't remember if they did on those first couple turns. I think... 
I think they outsped Tropicos, but I can't I can't be sure. Meanwhile, Tyranitar has base 61 speed. Yeah, you know what? I was probably outspeeding Tyranitar no matter what. But cool that we got to click uh, uh, Rock Polish there, for sure. For sure. Good game to my opponent. Okay, this is that same exact person again. <laughs> Shall we run it back? I don't think I'd do anything differently, if I'm honest with you. Is it the same person again, or just the same the same team? I got it. I don't know if this was the person's name or not. Uh, okay. You know what? I don't mind uh, making this video sort of a best two out of three. In these early days of Regulation G, while I'm battling on the casual ladder, I'm kind of just trying to get a feel of the different Pokemon and learn, rather than like truly showcase what a Pokemon's capable of. Get a little bit of that, obviously. I don't even remember what Pokemon I brought in the back. I didn't even need them. I think I just brought... I'm going to bring the same four again. Which, if this is... Like, if we do win this game and uh, sort of end the video there... It means that I'm not going to bring my Frigoraf. Frigoraf is, is an excellent partner to Tropicos. For the fact that it can stop opponents from going for Fake Out uh, and stopping you from getting up that Calm Mind on the first turn. They lead almost exactly the same way. Should I just do the same thing? I think I'm going to. We're going to land our Will-O-Wisp this time. I think it's like incredibly hard to miss Will-O-Wisp while holding Wide Lens. Wide Lens boosts, boosts accuracy by 1.1. And Will-O-Wisp is 85% accurate. Yeah, yeah, it's like very hard to miss a Will-O-Wisp. It's possible, obviously. Um, but I'm going to bank on it hitting this time. Because I think that would have been an even more dominant win in the last match if I had landed that Will-O-Wisp early. It feels like most of their damage that they dealt was from this Okie Dogie. Well, the Okie Dogie wasn't going for fighting moves, which you're staring down the barrel of two very offensive Pokemon that are weak to your stab attack. So to go for knockoff is like sort of a wasted uh, opportunity. IMO. There's a Drain Punch. That is not very effective into me because of that uh, uh, Terra Shell. But they're going to double in this time, and that was very smart of them. Can't say I'm mad about... Uh, Chiyu taking zero damage there, though. Because, again, Chiyu is sitting out here just like, I'm weak to everything around me. All right, let's go for it. We're going to Terra Star Storm. Um, do keep in mind, there are moments where you might not go for uh, the Terra on... It's rare, but if you don't go for the Terra on Tarapagos, Terra Star Storm is a normal move that can deal a lot of damage, but just to one Pokemon. It becomes a spread move when you Terra. And we're going to land the Will-O-Wisp on the Tyranitar here, I think. Now that I... Uh, uh, I'm glad that I'm... <laughs> I kind of looked up the speed tiers at the end of that last uh, battle to see if I would have outsped without... Um, without the Rock Polish, because now I feel pretty confident. We landed the Will-O-Wisp there. Awesome. I think I'm going to outspeed the Tyranitar, at least. Actually, I, I was outspeeding the Okie Dogie as well. And Terra Star Storm just being like an insanely powerful move. Just, it really does mean that you can just run Calm Mind and rock polish and not have to worry about having a bunch of different typed moves 
uh, uh, for you know for coverage options. You can just do this, and as long as your opponent doesn't have, you know, um, can I get away with a cheeky calm mind here? I think I can. But for a heat wave to finish him off, um, I'm just gonna cancel the battle. Sure, no, that makes sense. Uh, uh, yeah, to just be able to. Um, to not have to run a bunch of uh, coverage options and ch only run moves that help support your damage capabilities with one move is kind of crazy. And Terrapagos is maybe the only Pokemon I can think of that that doesn't have to worry about having at least one other move that covers, you know, E speed hits everything except for Steel and Ghost type. So you, so you might want to bring one thing that can hit those Mons. But Terra Starstorm hits everything. Good game to my opponent. All right. That is a strange looking team, but I dig it. I'm going to respect it too, because I do think that there's some stuff happening here. They have the Prankster Riolu, uh, so they can get coaching boosts onto their ho -Oh. Pretty spooky. Uh, and they also have the ice support from the, you know, Potential Aurora Veil and everything. Let's see. Hmm. I don't believe that Armor Tail stops Prankster coaching from going into the ally. I don't want to bank on that. So that's a little concerning. I think I can go with you and you as my leads. I like to have a, in case they do get up the Aurora Veil, I can have Psychic Fangs to break it. Um, yeah, and I think I just like having a, a, a fast Pokemon. I'm looking at it, I'm like, I could bring Sinistraw, I'd really only be using it for the hospitality support and to be able to take one sacred fire, you know? And looking at it, I'm like, you know what? I'd also would just be weak to Blizzard if they have it on their Nine Tails, and I can't even Rage Powder that. They're just going to leave with these two. Okay. I'm going to Calm Mind, and I am going to Snarl here. I'm aware of the fact that that does very little to Ho-Oh, but in case they want to get cheeky with that Suicune and attack me here, I can stop it from doing as much as it would. They're going to Snarl themselves. They're going to miss Terrapagos. Massive, massive stuff right there. And they are going to Sacred Fire into the Terrapagos, but it's going to be not very effective for this first turn. And that is key. They burn me as well. Not a massive deal. Special attack rising. Okay. Um, Chi Yu's kind of not doing anything besides just like giving me the Beads of Ruin effect, uh, which I'm not mad about, but I could protect for a turn. Um, while I get in like Bundle, maybe, to threaten with like Freeze Dry. I don't hate it as a concept. I think I might. Uh, I think I might do that. Our sash will be broken by the snarl, and that'll also reduce the damage output of freeze dry. But I know that bundle will be faster now. So I'll get damage into the Suicune 
in the first place. Oh, they Brave Bird into that slot. Well, that's concerning. I did live it, though. That's awesome. Bundle's sick. Hmm. They did not want Shi Yu around. Good to know. I think they will get the Snarl off. I was kind of trying to stop the Snarl from being able to happen, but it'll only bring me to neutral, which I, I'm not going to complain about that, you know. Let's Terra Star Storm, and let's just go for the Freeze Dry into the Suicune, as has been the plan all along. They're going to swap out Ho. They're going to get all their HP back. Ho has her generator. It's pretty cool. They're going to bring out Amoongus now. Glad I'm attacking. I remember uh, back in Sword and Shield, there was a team that ran around with Amoongus and... Ho oh, oh, did pretty well for the fact that they both get Regenerator. I think Amoongus specifically is an interesting Pokemon in Reg G because. Oh, I did! Was it a crit? Oh, got lucky on that one, I'll tell you what. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth, though. Never understood that saying, but I know what it's supposed to be saying. Um, Amoongus is, is kind of in a weird place because of Miraidon. And, uh, like, I have a Muraidon video out. You can go watch it. There was an Amoongus in one of the battles that just couldn't do anything with electric terrain on the field. And it, you know, it just sat there as, like, a Pokemon that I didn't have to hit. Terra Star Storm again. Um, I'm going to freeze dry into the Ho-Oh. They are going to let me get it, too. Of course, they're going to regenerate on their Amoongus. Here comes the Riolu. Maybe it'll just be a Protect. Nope. They're also going to Brave Bird into the Deli Bot. Just not respecting the Turtle. Now, actually, my best course of action might be to go into the Metagross and go for a Bullet Punch. I actually don't know if I'll outspeed a Riolu, if they're max speed. Base 60 speed, and Metagross is how much? Metagross is base 70, yeah. If they're, if they're like, jolly, they might outspeed me with coaching, and then I don't get to, you know, do that. But it feels like the right play regardless. Because I'll still get the Bullet Punch off before Sacred Fire does me in. So, I'm willing to roll the dice on that. It's kind of hard. Like, I feel like you don't even need to do stat investment on Riolu. Oh, I did outspeed. So, they were not max speed. I'm an adamant Metagross, so... They had some defenses in there. Sacred Fire is not even going to drop uh, Metagross. Although, it might as well have, because it burned me. And they still refuse to respect the turtle. Uh, I feel really good about my spot here. Knowing that I have the um, Chiyu in the back, like part of me almost wishes that well, no, I guess I'm glad that Metagross is still here. Now I can tear a Star Storm, and I think I'm just going to Psychic Fangs into the Amoongus. Um, they have to target Metagross to kill it before Metagross attacks here. Um, and if they do that, fine. They saw the writing on the wall as well. All right, well. That's how it goes. I, I wanted to get that third battle in there because, uh, you know, I don't want to end it on like a half battle where, uh, you know, an opponent just sort of like drops out because they they also see the writing on the wall. Uh, Tropagos is really scary. If you let it set up, uh, it'll it'll completely wipe you. Good game to my opponent.
Thanks again for clicking on this video in the first place. Uh, rental, PokePace, full team breakdown in the description. As always, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is typically when I stream. If you want some Regulation G practice, you can come battle against me or at least just see what other people are trying, take some notes, all that good stuff. Uh, and also, I have other Regulation G videos out. Go check them out and also keep your eye on the channel for even more Regulation G content like some of these videos. That's me doing more of what you just watched.